Do you have enough students wanting to take your classes? If not, then you need to watch this video. The number one marketing mistake that most English schools and private teachers make is that they don't target a specific enough group of people with their classes. The demand for English classes is huge and most schools and teachers try to cover that market by offering generalized classes that could be served for anybody. Now this is a mistake because everybody is doing that. So if you want to get more students inquiring about your classes, you need to hone in on a more specific group of people to teach those classes too. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can target a specific group of professionals. So for example, you might offer English classes for pilots or English classes for doctors or English classes for people who have to travel abroad soon. You might also target a specific group of people in a certain demographic based on where they live or maybe what kind of soccer team they root for. So you can offer English classes for Gallo fans. You might also differentiate yourself by marketing your English classes based on the technique that you use to teach your classes. So maybe you are using music, like you're using Beatles songs to teach your classes. So you can market yourself as the uh, English teacher, who, or the, the Beatles English teacher, or the Rolling Stones English teacher. Whatever you do, it's just important that you find some way to differentiate yourself and stop trying to teach English to everybody. Take a stand, you know, say that you are the person or the school who teaches English to this particular group of people or you teach in this particular way. This is going to make it easier for you to get students because within that group of people, they're going to want to take classes with the, the school or the teacher who is targeting that group of people as opposed to a generalist who teaches English to everybody. It's also going to make it easier for people to refer you to their friends and family. You know, if you are just an English teacher, well, that's not going to stand out because there's a lot of other English teachers. But if you are the English teacher who teaches using Beatles songs or the English teacher who only teaches to accountants, then you know, any accountant who wants English classes and they hear about you, they're going to be more interested in taking your classes than classes with some regular English teacher. So think about what niche you are qualified to teach to. Think about your professional background, you know, what you were doing before, any past experience you have. You can use that to target a more specific group of people and you can add unique value to that, that group of people. Or if you have a unique way of teaching, then use that in your marketing. And this will help you get more students. And don't be afraid to niche down. A lot of people think that if you call yourself the English teacher for X group of people, that you're only going to be able to get students from that group of people. But what's actually going to happen is that within that group, they're going to love you. They're going to think that you are perfect for them, and you're going to get more students of that type. And even people outside of that group, they're going to see that you are a specialist. And even if they're not part of that group, they're going to see greater value in your service and they are going to want to take classes with you even if they're not part of that group. So here's what to do next. If you're already using this strategy and are successful with it, then I want you to share your success story in the comments down below. And if you aren't doing this already, then I want you to share this with your fellow English teachers who don't have enough students and start brainstorming with them for what kind of classes you can be offering, what kind of niche group of students you can be teaching.